How are each and every one of you doing? I thank you first off for tuning in. I know that there are other things that you could have been doing today, but I welcome you into a, a moment of my world today. Uh, we welcome you to this new um, output that we're putting on through social media outlets. I can't even name them all right now. I don't um, have a list in front of me. I just wanted to do something that we can talk and engage and get some interesting and informational topics out with some Christians that are dealing with this pandemic, dealing with now uh, what's going on, um, that are Christians that are just working and doing things and that we can just all get some type of connection that can continuously go on. Uh, my prayers that I've been in um, with these last months, as well as talking to social media team is to get some individuals that we can relate to as Christians that are doing all sorts of things. But we have lined up a lot of different guests and we just want to have a wonderful time. Uh, this is called a minute of your mind and literally just going to take some minutes and just talk. And we're going to interject what we do as Christians. And we're just going to go forward and connect our friendships and broaden ourselves out. I'm going to ask you all, I got to go through the format because this is new for me. So I solicit your prayers that I want to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and let them know that a minute of your mind is here. And we're not going to take up too much time. You can drop a comment in the comment section and we're going to just move forward. All right. So get your coffees ready, have a little sip, and let's have our conversation that will start. We have an interesting um, personality that's here today, and I'm going to bring him online. I'm going to do it. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Today? <laughs> good morning to you. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, man, good I'm morning. wonderful. Good I'm morning. excited. <laughs> I want to let everybody know that I'm, I'm comfortable now because I know that I have protection on the line with me. I got Jesus and I got me an officer of the law. We're going to have a good time. This is a valuable uh, friend of mine. This is someone that has just been stellar in every opportunity that I can have in my life that I've been able to call on. And someone that I've topic today, a minute of your mind, and who he is will help to just engage, involve you. And if you have some questions later on, you can ask. I want to present him that we're going to talk about a topic briefly today that's called policing through the pandemic. Everything that's going on, I mean, all the social issues, Black Lives Matter, there's so many different movements. And I personally would like for individuals to know that please pray for our officers. And I want you to do this, even though we have dealt with the insurrection, dealing with so many different things that's going on. I want you to know that there are Christians that are on your side and don't just take right. one bad apple and encapsulate them and say that they all like that because I want to bring that's this right. out today. So I thank you so much. Um, if, if you don't mind, this is a minute of your mind. Now, listen, I have to say this. So off the time, um, we pastors, preachers get tagged with, uh, Go along with it, may I say. Uh, so that's why this is a minute of your mind. I had, uh, 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 I was I was told that, Pastor, I can't believe that this is the topic, knowing you're a pastor, uh, but I have to keep it into uh, this conformity. I came up with this to let them know we can get things out and it won't take too much time. So those listeners out there, if you just give us about 10 minutes, we're going to be on out your way and you're going to be on more. You don't want to talk to us more. All right, so we're just going to kick this off. If you don't mind, Officer Day, uh, just tell us just a little bit about yourself. I have some questions. I want you to just go off and tell everything because then I won't have nothing to say. But I'll just, if I start off with this, I just want to say if you could just introduce yourself. Um, friends can get away with this. I know I should have a bio that was there, but I said, no, nah, man, you just going <laughs> to kick it. Uh, so if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about yourself today. 
Uh, well, let's see. Uh, uh, born and raised in the city of Detroit on the west side yeah. of Detroit. Um, uh, North, Northwestern High School, go Coats. <laughs> give it up, give it up, give it up. Uh, uh, Wayne, Wayne State University alumni. Uh, All right. I've been on the been on the Detroit Police Department um, uh, for 21 years. Um, oh, man, um, I know I've been, a lot. Yeah, uh, I've been preaching the gospel for Jesus Christ. I've been preaching since, uh, ooh, what, 1989 when the Lord called me to preach. So, you know, I, I work in the streets of Detroit for 21 years. I, I, I got God with me, thank God. Um, <laughs> I've... Um, Worked uh, many places in the police department. Um, I worked at the uh, Ninth Precinct, which is has been known as one of the worst precincts in the country for quite a few years. Um, survived that. Uh, worked traffic uh, safety, traffic and enforcement. Um, uh, worked at Gang Squad. Uh, um, currently uh, work at the um, still with the police department. Um, I work in um, um, sex crimes now, so I'm uh, uh, corporal detective in sex crimes. So. Uh, work in the city of Detroit, uh, you know, that's always been my, um, grew up in the city of Detroit. So I love the city of Detroit. Um, yes. and, um, that's always been a part of my heart to, uh, to help people and, and, and to do what I can. Um, um, even growing up, I always wanted to be a, a police officer. Um, as you know, like most preachers, um, um, I didn't think that I was going to be a preacher, <laughs> but, but, you know, God had, God had that plan for me. So uh, you know, once, once he, once he grabbed hold of you, you, you know, you can't yeah. let go. <laughs> so, you know, well, so I that's, thank that's, you that's so much. Mm -hmm. I thank you. And, and if you, if you don't mind, you are a bit of a celebrity. If you don't mind speaking to that just for a moment, you all might, uh, especially during this COVID time, we watch a little bit more television than usual. So just tell them a little bit about your celebritism, what you've been involved in with that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, my, my 15 minutes of fame. Uh, oh, that was back in 2004, I believe. I can't even remember what year that was, but uh, uh, it was a TV show. Actually, it still comes on because I, I be in the grocery store sometime and people uh, holler out, uh, I know you, I know you, shadow, you shadow. <laughs> Um, it was a, uh, they have a, on, um, I think it comes on the National Geographic channels a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, it's mm -hmm. called De Detroit Gang Squad. Yeah. Um, that was one of the, that was some of the most interesting times, uh, working at the Detroit Police Department. Um, that was very exciting. Um, yeah. so they had a, De a show called Detroit Gang Squad that we were, we were featured on, um, uh, which was pretty nice. I, I really enjoyed that. Blessings, blessings, man. Just wonderful. Now I'm going to go into my questions. Um, just getting a minute of your mind, not going to hold you up. As you all hear, okay. ladies and gentlemen, this is a busy man. He's doing a whole lot that's going on. <laughs> and so I'm not going to hold him long and I'm going to keep my words. So I have a, some questions I'm going to ask you. And if you could just answer them. And um, as I say, we just want a minute of your mind. I thank you once again for just accepting the invitation. And that we can get out. Okay. Um, sounds, sounds good. Uh, um, you've told us about your duties and what it is that you do. Um, what made you choose to be a police officer? Um, you know what? Growing up, um, for some reason, it was, um, I guess it's, it's, it's like being a, a preacher or a pastor. Um, um, I was called to preach, um, you know, by God. And I guess I was born to, to, to decide to do that type of work. Um, um, even from a child, that was one of the, the things or gifts that I had that uh, I wanted to be a police officer to, to help those that couldn't help their set themselves, um, um, just to to, to um, help people find justice. And um, not only that, but um, to be able to talk to and help people in distress. Um, um, so, you know, it goes hands in hand, I guess, with being a, a preacher. Um, yes. God put me in places where I can talk to people and help them in different ways. Um, and it's for 21 years, it's worked out pretty fine. Um, I've been in some, some situations, uh, shot at and, and it was only through the grace of God that I'm here today. Yes. But, um, you know, I, I, you know, I just give all grace to God for yeah. uh, allowing me to, to have the career that I have both of them. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. 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 Well, I, you know, I, 
I play cowboys and Indians. I just I thought if I was going to be an Indian. It didn't work out. I guess God had another move for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go down to my uh, next question. What is different now uh, that you've seen uh, with just the years that you've had, the 21 years of policing? What is different now with policing in the pandemic? Um. I think it's more like just like everyday life. The policing part is 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 even more strenuous um, because, um, especially with the pandemic, and um, um, you you can't really interact with the people like we used to be able to interact with them. So that causes a problem sometimes because a lot of times people just need help. They just need um, um, a, a word, or sometimes they just need to get something off their chest. Yes. And um, so the pandemic has changed the the way the whole world has has re- evolved. Um, you know, it's it's like you you you're cooped up for so long, and it's, it's just like on the weekends when it's raining or something like that, and you cooped up in the house and you can't get out. So um, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's bad. So you know, <laughs> um, after you've been cooped up in the house with the wife or the missus for so long, and 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 you start to get on her nerves. Cause I'm not gonna say she get on your nerves because that's a whole other topic, right? All there. right. <laughs> so, um, fe- yeah, fellas, I'm just gonna say that uh, we get on their nerves. Um, All right. But um, you just have to ch- you just have to change your mindset and just just listen to the people. Yes. And um and and just try to help them out the best way you can. Um, from 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 before the, before the pandemic, and even now, the only way you can do it is just 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 act like you're them. You know, yes. treat them like they like you would want to be treated, and you shouldn't have a problem. If if everyone does that in life, um, it'd be a lot better. It would be. Oh, mm-hmm. I, I I just thank God for you and and just getting the information out to the people about that's just with the transparency to realize that you are people behind the badge with the heart, and especially to know that there are Christian officers that are out there and put Mm -hmm. their walk with God and their care and their heart for the Lord and his people and just want to be treated evenly and equally. I thank you for that, those that you did. Um, Yeah, yeah, because this this pandemic ain't no joke. Um, I Uh, actually had the virus in April. Um, I was down for three weeks with the virus. Um, uh, I had all of the symptoms. Um, By the grace of God, I didn't have the... uh, the complete body aches, but I had the body mm-hmm. aches and I did not have the hard breathing where I couldn't breathe. So I didn't have to go on a respirator, but, um, you know, I just did a lot of praying and, uh, um, um, a lot of, um, uh, suffering and, and, um, through the, through the prayers, the suffering got easier. And, um, and, um, uh, thank God that I pulled through. Um, I lost a lot of friends and relatives through this. Um, but I just tell people even now, um, wear that mask, um, do yes. the social distancing, I know it can be irritating, but, you know, it, irritating to save your life. So I rather yes. be irritated than dead. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And we, we thank the Lord for you being able to come up out of that sickness. Uh, we've lost so many individuals and we just want to stay in the guidelines. Uh, so just thank you for that. Um, how is it being an officer and a preacher? That's, you know, that was that's that really was my question right there. Mm-hmm. Officer and a preacher. I mean that. Um, I know that it's, it can possibly uh, be at times conflicting. It all depends on what you may walk into. But just, you know, just give us a, a minute of how is it being an officer and a preacher? I think being a preacher helped me to be an officer because um, I can I. I have the patience and the understanding of how both sides feel. Um, and then. The preacher part of me makes me um, be more acceptable to how people feel and what they're feeling and what they're going through. So um, I've always been one who can listen and to help someone through some situations. Um, um, Me, it's better to de-escalate a situation than to go into a situation. And um, when I first got on the police department, um, um, it was rough and it still is rough sometimes. But, you know, just the compassion that you have for people, or if you, um, I say this all the time, if you treat people how you want to be treated, or if you can just feel their pain and just listen to them before you jump into something, then it, it works out a lot better. Um, 
had a situation years and years ago um, where a young man, um, uh, I was working at the ninth precinct and he, um, he, he walked about 10 miles. He said he don't know what brought him over there, um, but he lost his grandmother, which was his biggest supporter, and he lost his best friend in the same week. And um, and he was breaking up with his girlfriend, was losing his girlfriend. So he was going to commit suicide. He said he's going to walk to Bill Lodge, jump off the bridge and commit suicide. Um, but he went to the cemeteries first to talk to his grandmother and his best friend. And um, he it led him to the precinct. And I just happened to be working the door. And we stood in the doorway of the precinct for over an hour. And I just listened to him and, and I just gave him advice. And we prayed and I talked to him. And um, by the time he left, not only had I convinced him that taking his life wasn't wasn't the thing to do, but I had hooked him up with a, um, a situation where he could get a job. Uh, I talked to, him to the point, talked to him to the point where he was going to go and try to work it out with his girlfriend. Yes. Um, and, <laughs> um, and, you know, it, it, it just, you know, I, I just brought him to let him know that even though he lost those people, he still had people in his corner, even people he didn't even know, like me. I never met him before. But mm -hmm. most of all, he had God. Yes. And um, yes. it just, you know, that made me feel good to know that I could help someone in a situation that they thought there could not be any help. And being a preacher and a police officer, that really helped me out because it it, it teached me or it taught me that um, um my work is not in vain. And both Praise can God. fall hand in hand together. Yes. 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 Oh, man. Listen, that's a sermon. God put the preacher planted in the <laughs> place in the preset. <laughs> the preacher in the that's preset. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank you for it. Oh, man. Thank you for that. That's inspirational right there to let oh, individuals yeah. know it, 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 that it, God it, is just it, everywhere. It, He's, he works through everybody. I just, I yeah. love that. I love that. And oftentimes, because of past experiences, we get turned away from police officers. During this time, I wanted to make sure uh, that we, as a real life situations before the people, this is not for entertainment, this is informational, inspirational as well, and just to be engaging with the people that get them through a place of comfort and understanding and the realities of life and what's going on, just with some real people, man. And mm -hmm. I just uh, thank you. I got one more question for you. What would your message be mm -hmm. to people concerning an officer, Christian's heart in these times for comfort and awareness. I think that those that were listening, you kind of covered that. Uh, but if there's anything more you would like to interject, to add to that, to just let the people know overall that, you know, give comfort. Um, things as we have seen can just go array so fast. And um, those things that you think that you would be into a a zone of just comfort and you would never imagine mm -hmm. it happening the way that it happens and where it happens. Um, if there's just something that you can say um, to the people that are listening now that can kind of draw them in and give them some um, placidness in what's going on. Um, I tell people all the time, if you keep God in your life, free, um, 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 you can overcome anything. And um, just like I tell my kids, my relatives, I even practice the same thing myself, even being a police officer. Um, I'm constantly aware of, of, of my surroundings, mm -hmm. where I'm at, what I'm doing, regardless of where it is. You know, I, I see stuff on TV sometimes where people live in certain areas and they always say, well, I would never thought that would happen here. No, the devil was everywhere, you know. And, <laughs> yes. but, but, but a lot of times we give the devil too much credit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right now. And what, I, and what I mean by that is because um, we may cause a situation or there may be a situation and I hear people say, oh, that was the devil made me do it. No, that was you doing it. But you're going to give him the credit for it. He's going to take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, me, um, I would say even when you're dealing with or you're coming into a situation where um, right now um, there's a big gap sometimes between the community and police officers. And I tell my kids to do the same thing. And even um, if I'm out somewhere and I get pulled over, because um, I have got I've gotten pulled over before too. What? Um, I yeah, <laughs> they oh, get to the car and they might notice me or something. But yeah, I, I got pulled over a few times myself. Um, 
But, you know, they get to the car and, you know, I, I roll the windows down, hands on the steering wheel. When they get to the car, I, I immediately tell them who I am or whatever. And I tell people the same way. When you come in contact with a police officer or something like that, um, just be as humble as possible. You know, you, you don't have to say anything, even though you might be mad. Just just be as humble as possible. I do the same thing. I didn't like I said, I didn't got pulled over and I'd be like, what are you pulling me over for? Well, when he gets to the door window and I'll be like, well, OK, he might be having a bad day, but I'm not going to have a bad day. I'm right. going to I'm going to keep my my godly way no matter what. So, oh, right. you know, you just um, just w w answer the questions. In other words, I, when I, when I even went to work the street and people I used to stop people, I'd be like, look, if I don't ask you something. Don't tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> just just answer what I tell you. You ain't got to volunteer nothing extra because I don't need to know all of that. So, you know, to me, if you just um, keep your composure and treat people like, like I said all the time, like you want to be treated. If you're having a bad day, pray it off, okay? Yes. Um, yes. Just, just, just don't lose your God yes. no matter what. Um, yeah. and, in, and in this Black Lives Matter, um, time frame right now um everything is is escalated but it's escalated to the fullest fullest part but we as a people um no matter what color we are because i have a very diverse family black white uh, um, um um indian and my family uh, our family is, i might is be in there diverse. i might i might that indian come back i might be exactly. in there. might be in there <laughs> exactly um and so um um i just tell people all the time if you just pray on what what you're going through all right. Don't let the devil or don't let your problem overtake your glory. Yes. All right. Yes. Regardless yes. of what you're going through, God will bring you through it. Yes. If you pray yes. on it and you keep Jesus in your life. And no matter what the situation may is, as bleak as it may be, there's always some sunshine ahead. And I tell people all the time, when it rain, enjoy that rain, because without the rain, you can't enjoy the sunshine. All right now. So, All right. <laughs> I think the preacher that rose up in them now, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I love, I love it. I love it. I um and um I want to make sure that I keep my word. Uh thank you so much with what you have said and have expressed and the information that you have given to us. And I will have you on once again as we do our shifts. Um, just because of the fact that I enjoy talking to you. You help me feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, and I yeah. think that it's needed to make uh, these continuous and these constant contacts to just be aware and before the people. Are there any um, foundations or anything that you're involved in that you would like to give the people enlightenment on at this time that they may be guided to, you know, would help? As we have heard, um, this 21-year veteran officer has worked the plethora of different <laughs> um, areas within the police department. And I'm pretty sure that there may be something that you have seen or something that you're engaged in and involved that you may want to lead the people to before we get off the air. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of help out there, whatever you need. Um, it's, it's possible to find it. Um, right now, um, a lot of the things that I've, I've been doing lately, um, um, as you know, I'm a um, um, CPL instructor. Yes. Um, yes. Some, some, um, um, some people, for some reason, a lot of people have, have been having a very much interest in getting their uh, CPL license. So um, <laughs> okay. I, 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 I would strongly suggest that, that any of you who out there are, are, are caring <laughs> to protect yourself, uh, do, it, do it the legal way. <laughs> So, so just um, not like you said, prayer and a pistol will be all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it is a prayer and a pistol. Um, believe, believe, oh, Lord, believe it or not. Like <laughs> that's right. Well, um, the, the, the prayer overpowers the pistol, I should say. Oh, I, I can say that. <laughs> it, it definitely overpowers the, pis the, the pistol. Um, but um, yeah, just, just, just keep being safe. Um, 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 my lodge, I'm a Mason. So we do a lot of charity work too. Um, um, as far as that's concerned. So there's always help out there. And if you need something or if you need to reach out to, to get something, um, you can always, um, um, contact, um, contact me, um, yes. for information. I get people call me all the time about different situations, um, with, um, involving a uh, CPL carrying or, um, um, anything else. Cause through the Mason, by being a Mason, we get a lot of information as far as, uh, people that need help paying their bills and 
and situations like that. So um, we, we can definitely help you out. But there is help out there. You just got to ask for it and um, you will receive it. Um, um, one of my favorite um, uh, scriptures is whatever you ask for in prayer, believe it and it shall come true. And I'm right. definitely there by that. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I thank you so much for your time. And God bless you and all that you do. And when we get the opportunity, you know, we will get together once again in fellowship. I thank yes, you sir. so yes, much. Sir. Enjoy this and looking forward, amen, to seeing you. might see shadow out I, there, amen. I, I, you, might, you might see a shadow <laughs> behind you, amen. It might be the shadow of this, yeah. of this preaching police officer, amen, amen. So God bless you. Thank you so much, man. Uh, just so, now, so now, now I know for sure now. So if I hear somebody say shadow, I know where it's from again because uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's my name, I guess. So we're going to stick with me for a while. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't mind, so what? So you won't get in trouble, and I won't get in trouble. If you don't mind, shout out your sister. Just give your pastor a shout out right now. If you don't mind, your church home and your pastor, give a give a shout oh, out. Oh yeah, man. I'm um I'm I'm the youth pastor at uh Cathedral Faith Church with the illustrious pastor Reverend Lee Jackson as our yes. senior pastor over there. All right now, um, all right. We also have a a a. a um, broadcast on Sunday that, that that they do and um so um if 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 they if y'all not watching this great pastor right here um one, one, it's one enough for everybody off, it's you know, enough for everybody want some, <laughs> yeah, yeah y'all want some more church you know uh, come on and see us but yeah uh, shout out to uh Pastor Lee Jackson and um some of our other friends um Pastor Alvin Jackson and uh yes. love and um uh, uh, Bishop uh Sharp uh yes. you know so uh, all of them um I'm just gracious to be around some of these great men of God that I can learn from no matter what. Well, we might as well go down to Ohio then. You might as well give it up for the Ohio Jackson. Is oh, down yeah. There. Go yeah. Ahead. You got to give it yeah. all up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pastor Maurice Jackson. Yeah, give Ohio. it all up. Yeah. Yes, all sir. right. Yes, sir. All right. All right. I thank you so much for your time. God bless you. We'll be in. Amen. Amen. I'm going to sign you off as I do my clothes and appreciate you. We'll be in touch, man. God bless you. All right. Love you, brother. Peace. Yes, and thanks for having me. Yeah, God All bless right. you. Love you. Love you. To each and every one of you, I hope that you enjoyed uh, this encounter that we had on today. Um, as we heard the, the uh, police officer speak, he was letting it be known that uh, communication helps to defuse some confrontations that's going on. And we thank him so much. All you have to do is um, if you need some information or would like to get in contact with them and we'll do the best that we can as i said before like comment subscribe hit that notification bell uh, let someone know and drop a comment in the comment section and we'll do the best that we can to put you in touch with our guests that we will have that'll be on and i just want to say amen love you thank you and appreciate you and get ready for more as god opens up the doors and people open up their hearts and are able to just give a minute of their time, amen, and answering some questions. We want to be informational and inspirational. If you like, maybe a guest that you may have and you suggest that you would like to come on, put it in the comment box. And we'll do what we can to reach out. I want to say to each and every one of you, I love you. Be safe out here. And looking forward that we all can go back into our places of worship, praise, and lift up the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And just looking forward to have just so much more conversations with our Christian brothers and sisters that are out there. Uh, we look forward, and this is going to lead into where we're going. Uh, some of our guests are going to be some lawyers and some um, NAACP uh, representatives and business owners, professional athletes, so on and so forth. We're going to engage and get involved and have good conversations. So I'm getting ready to sign off. I want you to know, amen, that uh, stay safe, stay in prayer. As we reiterate it over and over again, put God in every movement of your life. God bless you as I begin to sign off. A little bird told me I got to get a sign off. So y'all stay with me now. It's how we do this and we're going to just move and flow and it's going to get a little better. So we're going to critique. But he told me to do a little sign off. He told me to go, uh, I think it was love peace, and prayer. And let's continue to stay on that road. God bless you. Looking forward to see you. You've been with Pastor Knowlton today, pastor of the Leland Missionary Baptist Church. So proud to be with you. God bless you.
Mm-hmm.